Now, making edits to variables where you want to mutate them, sometimes you can use operators to do that. So let me show you an example. Let's say we are in a character creation screen and we've only set their first name, but we haven't set their last name yet and we're waiting. One way you can do that is instead of saying name equals Jesse Warden and you fix it, you could actually take the existing value of what it equals now and then add a new value. And so we can print that person out and you'll be able to see, we'll just print out the name. And so we're gonna take the existing value, add this, and that's what's gonna be set here. So if you think back to your algebra days, it's this plus this equals the value. So it's just reversed. So we're gonna hit run. And when you print out the name, you'll see it's now the new name that we set. And so that's one way you can take existing values and use them in setting it. And it's very important because sometimes you wanna keep the existing value and adjust it. It's very, very common to do when you're talking about health. So the health of a particular humanoid in Roblox or something like that would start at 100, and if they got hurt, then you would say, hey, uh, the person health is minus 10, for example, right? And so we print it out, we'll print out the entire person so you can actually see the values of it. See how the health is now 90 instead of 100? And that's because we subtracted it from that health. So whatever the result of this is, which is 100 minus 10, because we can see that variable is injected right there, then that's gonna be 90. And you can do the same thing with pluses. So we can say person health is person.health, and then add 30, print it out. And when we run it this time, you'll see that it's much, much higher than 100, it's 120, because they took a super health pack, for example. And so that's how you can take existing values and use them to adjust it, it rather than trying to memorize that it starts at 100, right? You can actually use whatever it is at that current point in time and adjust those values on the same object. And this is with any variable. If you wanted to do just a basic value that's 10, and then you wanna change the value to what it is now, plus one, and then print out the value. It doesn't have to be tables. It can be any, any, any variable anywhere, right? It's 11. That's how you take existing variables and modify them using operators, but set them back to themselves. So it's a, it's a way to mutate them, but yet keep their, the, the value they start at and change it over time.